Well, it's just back from a state visit accompanying the president to the United States of America. We've been talking about the goodies that we're expecting from the U.S. And before the break, I asked the CS, I said, uh, Haiti is not your docket. It's your colleague, uh, Professor Kithura Kindiki. Yes. But you have some thoughts about Haiti. Yes, yes. Go on. Haiti, we are going. No. <laughs> and it's not the first place we have gone. Come on, why are we Today going? Today we are in Somalia. That's not okay. the same thing. No, no, no. Haiti is police, Somalia is uh, military. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, you know, the police, it's not the police, the normal police traffic the in ones the we see of Nairobi. In no, 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 no. Uniform. Within the police, we have got special teams that can deal with any scenario. Like GSU, like... GSU, uh, uh, PPU. Mm -hmm. We have got uh, highly trained... Uh, 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 formations within the National Police Service. Who, which can do who, the job. Who, who right now are doing the job uh, on our borders, working with KDF in making sure that uh, they subdue the threat of Al-Shabaab. But uh, we are in Somalia now. We were in DRC Congo. That's peacekeeping. That's troops. No, no, no. no it's no, troops. No, 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 no. My friend, uh, M23 is uh, lethal and the other armed groups in DRC. Mm -hmm. So we subdued them. We are in the uh, Tigray region. We are part of the uh, verification uh, team. We were in Kosovo. We were in many places. But Haiti and is uh, a gang land. I don't know why you, why you guys cannot wait and see that when we, when we land, how Haiti will be. Then that time call us or call Professor Kindik. We have men and women who can bring peace and security, not only to our country, to when they are called upon. Kenya has a very long history of stabilizing and bringing peace to war-torn nations. Haiti is like an African nation. We have been asked by the international community because of our reputation, because of our standing, because of the capacity we have that can we lead the multinational force to stabilize Haiti. Secondly, uh, the, U the US uh, Department of Defense will provide the logistics, will provide the communication center, will provide the intelligence uh, sharing and gathering. So we are not, we are not walking into a place that, uh, we're not walking into a dark room. We know what we're doing. And if Haiti turns out to be mighty, what are you people going to do? No, you know, uh, uh, let's wait and, and talk when we cross that bridge. We are not in the business. And I don't think President Ruto is in the business of bringing our own police in body bags. That is not the interest of the commander in chief. And it's not the interest of, the, of our government. The interest of our government is, which we are going to do, is to stabilize Haiti train their police, allow the women and the children in Haiti to live like any other human being in this world. You heard my colleague Ayub Abdir Qadir's question at the White House the other day to President Ruto, right? We have problems of banditry, banditry in the north, West Pokot, in Baringo. There's banditry. And yet we're sending troops 12,000 kilometers away. Does that make sense? You know, Jeff, I think let's be a bit fair in reporting. When this administration took over, the incidents of banditry in the North Rift were enormous. The numbers were very high. Today, with the multi-agency team, I can tell you uh, uh, without any contradiction that the North Rift banditry issue has been reduced by about 85%. We have about 20%. This week, they, they killed one of our soldiers, and they will pay for it. I am sure if you go to Baringo, West Pokot, and I want to tell them, don't dare KDF. We will bring peace to that region, the 20% remaining. We have a document that has been passed by cabinet. It's called North Rift Strategy um, uh, Security. They even... Uh, don't have the citizens' document. We must open up roads. Deliberate attempt to open up all the roads in that region. Revive the uh, the uh, irrigation schemes in Kerio. 
build more health centers. And from a security point of view, the Kenya Defense Forces, Ministry of Defense, we are shifting our training camps to the North Rift, from Eldoret, from Nakuru. We want our, 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 our servicemen and our, 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 our leadership to train in that area. So we will build more camps. We have been given land about four places in Turkana County, two places in Westport County, Tiati and Baringo County, in Samburu County, and the government manifesto, you will find that. North Rift will not be. One and a half year down the line, we have done 80%. The 20%, the incidents have reduced. But at a high cost, I mean, it's been a, a huge cost of lives, local lives. But the, 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 that uh, loss of life, which we regret, was more higher in terms of turnover than before we came back, we came to government. And we will deal with the criminals. If we have subdued Al-Shabaab the last one and a half year, I think the characters, uh, the few characters, please, Everything you have held me to in the, on this bench <laughs> came to pass. <laughs> At least 90 percent. 90 percent. Yes. Floodings. We had some terrible floods the last few weeks. Yes. And KDF's presence wasn't as felt as it should have been, especially in some areas where, which were un, un well, you know, people couldn't, inaccessible areas. Like Those, where? What do you mean, like where? Like where? Uh, Lamu. Turkan, Lake, Lake, uh, Tana River. That it was very, very yes, bad. it was very sad. You know the policy that we must build the Grand Falls Dam on uh, in Tharaka and Nithi County, where these dams can, the water from the dams, when they overflow, they can release it to that uh, uh, Grand Falls. Secondly, the Ministry of Energy uh, is looking at a situation where they can increase the capacity of the, of the current dams. But uh, as the people of Tana River, we not very unfortunate, and, and Garissa, the f f unfortunate incident. Our Kenyan Navy boats were there the last one month, doing daily operations, uh, taking uh, citizens from one side of the river to the other side. Mm. I'm happy to report that now the road uh, is, uh, is passable. The, the Nairobi Garissa Highway? Is passable. Yeah. The one uh, Lamu uh, Garsen is passable. Mm -hmm. uh, Kenyan Defense Forces uh, did a lot of airlifts to some of the counties, like Lamu. Yeah, my Mahi were there. Hmm? My Mahi were there. KDF, a uh, whole uh, 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 company, was there from, from Lanet. As the governor, as everybody. Hmm. We rescued uh, people the, the f after the incident. And uh, we are ready even when we are called upon, even it means using our engineering battalion to open up roads, to open up bridges. But now what we have done, a new program is that we are, we, are, we are putting in place, the Defense Council is putting in place a fully fledged construction company within KDF mm -hmm. that has bridges, that has, has all, this happens in the US, it happens in Egypt, even in Rwanda. That is the program, is part of the program, as I told you earlier. We have a robust housing program for Kenya Defense Forces, uh, rank and file. We have a very robust, now complete uh, healthcare system for our soldiers and their families. We are putting in place a very robust education system for our, 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 our rank and file of Kenya Defense Forces families. And above all, a, a robust uh, modernization program in terms of what we call export credit financing. That they put some money uh, as a guarantor to the major international companies that we deal with in terms of modernizing our, our military. Mm. Yes. For the first time now, we are very soon we will have uh, our very robust air defense system, which we never had since independence. We don't have one. We didn't have one, but now we are going to have. Oh, the, how's that going to help? Oh, we are going to protect our uh, airspace. You know what air defense system yeah. is? So when planes are flying, they have to ask for permission, otherwise... No, 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 no. That deals with the enemy. You can see them coming. We will deal with them, not even coming. We'll see them coming, and we will deal with them before they enter our airspace. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Speaking of airspace, there's no way I can let you go without asking you about the wrangles within UDA. You can criticize from the president to the smallest uh, person. In Why is Cleophas Malala telling uh, some CSs to stop this, you know? Uh... He's exercising his uh, democratic rights as a secretary general. 
So even you, if you want to wake up today and start criticizing your own party, it's fine? No, I, I don't know. You know, you, I, I can criticize party policies. Fair criticism is allowed, even in other democracies. Now, uh, dissenting opinion, uh, divergent opinion, not only within UDA, but within the whole country. Nobody should be gagged. So, so I think, uh, I talked to him this morning. You talked to? To Malala. And? And uh, I told him, uh, no, don't do that. Did, did you speak to Gashagua? No, you know that is now uh, on what? I was, uh, I was with the deputy president. He chaired the subcommittee cabinet uh, yesterday. We are a full house. And we finished uh, all the 13 agendas. The Minister for Defense tells you, you can go home, everything is okay. Yeah. So that means everything is okay in our government. You know I'm gonna hold you to that again, just like I'm gonna hold you Please. to the banditry and uh, terrorism. Please, <laughs> everything is okay. And tomorrow morning we have the prayer breakfast. Oh yes, national prayer And I'm prayer going breakfast. to read the, a verse from the Quran. Is that right? Yes, yeah, so my, the prayer breakfast, the theme is hope. So there's hope in the country. There's hope everywhere. Board, uh -huh. it's working. From healthcare to all the uh, issues uh, about our veterans, <coughs> it's being now uh, dealt with. So, uh, Ezeki, yeah. I want to say that uh, there is a brigadier in charge of the board, as uh, a serving brigadier. And the chair of the veterans board is the a former retired Major General uh, Tumbo, who was, uh, uh, his last duty was, he was ambassador of Kenya to Somalia. Mm. So uh, everything is okay. It's sorted. Sorted. All oh, right. Mwangi Africa says, kindly ask CS Aiden Dwale, uh, no, know that over 5,000 victims of Batuk Lol Daiga fire have been waiting for compensation since 2022. Waziri is doing fantastic job at Ulinzi House and great show. So he's 5,000 victims of Batu. Mwangi is a, is a very smart guy. I know him, he's an environmentalist. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are working on this issue, uh, but I want to assure him that uh, in the month of July, uh, I'll be hosted in, in London by the UK defense minister. Those are some of the areas that I want to pick up. These are basic uh, false allegations and rumors. I mean, we have no business with Houthi. And uh, nobody will use uh, our bases to attack. Our collaborations with our partners is they use our, uh, our facilities for fueling, for, for buying uh, 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 rations. Mm -hmm. We do training with them. I saw this story of the Houthis, Correct. and I agree with him. It's just rumors. So we're it's not going to be. It's, 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 uh, you know, we have many negative guys, uh, which they're also entitled to. So I want to confirm to the country that uh, uh, the only thing we collaborate with our partners are two. One, we collaborate with our partners, a cross section of European, Japan. European countries, Japan, the US, and many other African countries in making sure that uh, the Red Sea and the entire Western uh, Indian Ocean um, maritime security is, uh, is, is secured. Mm. Because our economy also depends on that route. That's right. So we work with and we are part and parcel of that coalition that makes sure the Western Indian Ocean is safe and secure for the maritime uh, uh, commerce mm. to take place. Very good. Lee Njiri says, kindly, what happened to the new block at NDC, Karen, that you launched in April? When will the construction commence? In fact, tomorrow we are at NDC. We have the graduation of our 26 cohort. After the prayer breakfast? After the prayer, the president will drive to National Defense College our annual graduation uh, will take place. And uh, this uh, uh, block, which is embassy, because of the Washington trip, yeah. uh, it couldn't be implemented. But next week, they will start uh, the construction. And then uh, opening what, in two, three years? In two years, two 18 years. months, 18 to be months. precise. 
Muita Magera says, kindly, Jeff, ask the CS what is his ministry is doing in regard to the casual staff at Kenya Meat Commission that is in his docket. There's been no employment in KMC since the KDF took over in 2020, despite the commission making huge profits. Is there any plans to absorb the casuals? By the way, KDF is still running KMC, yeah? Yes. We're not making huge profits, <laughs> but at least KMC, since KDF took over, is out of the financial mess. This financial year, Kenya Meat Commission is, and even last financial year, Kenya Meat Commission is not getting any money from the exchequer. Because it, they're, they're making... Yes, they're running their own uh, 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 institutions and their books are good. Secondly, uh, we will not uh, employ until we find the space. But we have now a new, we have scaled the leadership at Kenya Meat Commission from a brigadier to a major general in, in, in the last three weeks. Oh. Now it's being headed by a major general. And I think the president and ourselves have a program to bring it back, Kenya Meat Commission and its assets, to a, a more profitable uh, uh, meat factory, not only in Kenya, but to serve the region. To start with, like us now, we are about 60% consumers of Kenya Meat Commission, KDF. Mm -hmm. We will talk to all the uh, regional uh, defense forces from Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Somalia, Ethiopia, to use Kenya Meat Commission, particularly on the corned beef section. So we are putting a new line, and I really want to ask Mita that uh, we, are not, we are cognizant of the issue of the cashew, and we will uh, fix it. And the prof, the, as, as it goes on, it'll be more profitable. Is that what you're saying? Yes, yes, yes. It must be bringing money back to the exchequer. Mm. Yeah. It's a premium institution. The people who, 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 who learned and who worked in Kenya Meat Commission are today running Botswana Meat Commission, the premier slaughterhouse and meat factory in Africa. The continent. That, that sells uh, meat and meat products to the European Union market. So the, 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 the students have become better than the teachers in Kenya Meat Commission. Mm. We must reverse that. And we must bring back the glory of Kenya Meat Commission. So KDF will continue running it? Oh, yes. Until another executive order comes. If another ex executive order comes, we will comply with it. <laughs> you know, unlike other ministries, the, commander, the president is the commander-in-chief of the Kenya Defense Forces. So we, t we take instructions like uh, nobody else. Mm. Yeah, the rest, they can wait one, two days. As the president gives an instruction, the next minute... It's done. It's done. Action takes. <laughs> Jafet Cherono says, ask about insecurity issues in Baringo. Schools still closed. Yes, some schools still closed. I mean, let me, I mean, let me uh, say it, uh, that uh, we are not uh, happy, even at Kenya Defense Forces and even the entire security uh, section. We should have fixed this problem long time ago, but I want to tell uh, both even Thomas now that we will uh, uh, fix this. I want to assure them that schools will be reopened. We will deal with those few elements uh, who perpetuate uh, banditry in the North Rift, just like the way we deal with Al-Shabaab and other criminal gangs. I think we have, uh, we have been too good to them. And uh, if worse come to the worst, the Kenya Defense Forces uh, will ask the president and parliament to give us the go ahead to clean up that uh, valley, the Kario Valley yes. and the North Rift, mm -hmm. once and for all. But it's a commitment of President William Ruto as the commander in chief that banditry must come to an end. Take them out. Zach Mainga, he's all the way in uh, Peekskill, New yeah. York. He says, as CS uh, Duale, last week we saw helicopters uh, firing missiles at the bandits' hideouts. Did they kill them or was it a show off? First, we don't show off. <laughs> we, the only time we show off uh, our air assets is during Madraka Day. Mm -hmm. So Shadrach should wait for what will uh, the show off we shall do uh, of our assets in Bungoma on Saturday. Mm -hmm. This coming. Yes. If he's holding brief for the bandits, of course I'll not tell you the, what we call the after battle, uh, battle assessment, what happened. 
But we shall deal with bandits and we shall use all our assets and that's why. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Okay, Gathua Gashora says, one, what is his plan to deal with corruption and KDF recruitment? We had the best recruitment with, with no corruption. Come on. And that's why. It's always corruption. No, 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 no. Be fair. And that's why for the first time you had 22% of the recruits were women. Our leadership who are now before the court martial. We have arrested a number of civilians who have conned uh, innocent uh, citizens and we have handed all them over to the criminal justice system. Number two, owing to the high rate of unemployment in the country, why can't KDF recruit cadets with papers but no work experience? We have two sets, uh, we have three sets of cadets. We have those who are fresh from school with the B plus. We have those uh, who have uh, gone to university. Because we, in KDF, we have all professional and expertise, from a doctor to an engineer to an architect to an environmentalist. That's why we're leading, uh, we're leading in the tree planting exercise. Mm -hmm. So we will recruit. And uh, on Friday, we have uh, uh, the first cadet, uh, I mean, this year, uh, graduating at our Kenya, our premier Kenya Military Academy in Lanet. But uh, I mean, we, 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 we recruit based on our capacity, our capability, our numbers. What are our numbers in the Air Force, in the Navy, in the Army, in the other formations? So Gadu, I'll tell him uh, when the opportunity comes. Uh, and even we, we employ the uh, uh, graduates with no experience. OK. Yes. Number three, why are courses at Defense College not open to civilians? No, no, no. At the Defense College, they're open. To civilians? Yes. On uh, tomorrow, you'll see uh, folks from Kenya Revenue Authority, mm. from immigration, from uh, provincial administration, uh, from foreign affairs, okay. from national intelligence service. So uh, uh, we, it's open to a certain cadre within the public service. Okay. Uh, it's Kipleting says, we have witnessed numerous breakdown of military crash over the past few years. What is the ministry doing to avert such incidents? Are politicians allowed to use military head helicopters? I think the first two uh, questions I've answered when you were talking to me, let me come back to politicians. Mm. We have now uh, a policy in KDF. We're not going to carry politicians. Oh. Yes. We will not. At all? At all. Well, they should hire their own helicopters? I mean, uh, helicopters are meant for specific function within KDF. They are part and parcel of the assets we have in safeguarding the country. They carry our troops, they go to operation. So not only helicopters, all our assets. Yes, going forward. What about the defense CS? When I'm going for an operation, I'll, I'll use the uh, uh, military assets. But if you just even, my, even my colleague, the Minister for Interior, mm. if he's going to Boni, if he's going to the North uh, Rift, if he's going to a place uh, that uh, is not secure, is part of our operational area, the Minister for Interior will also use our assets mm. or the police assets. But if you're going home to Garissa for the weekend, what are you going to use? I can drive. Garissa, the road is good. It's not so good. No, no, don't say that, please. It's a we we have the best highway. Come on, it was washed away by the flood. No, that was, that was a small section on your entrance near the river. Oh, yeah. The river decided to expand. But we have the best road. <laughs> Goody Baras, uh, where it says, ask CS Honorable Dwale to give his honest opinion on how we are as a country in terms of disaster response. And why are we pushing our police to, the, to Haiti, which we talked about, which is now a certified gangland? Finally, how is our homeland security at the moment? Okay, you answered most of those, but... Yes, uh, I think disaster, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Disaster, disaster, I think now, for the first time, we have uh, a multi-agency disaster response operations center. Domicile at the Ministry of Interior with KDF and everybody, and Kenya Red Cross. Mm. But at, Kenya, uh, at KDF and the Ministry of Defense, Italian within Kenya Defense Force, already it's in place. We are buying all the equipment that never again 
will we have to wait for with, with, with the water boosters, water cannons, yeah. everything? Yeah. Yes. For, our, for our own uh, military installations and for the rest of the country. What's the timeline on that? No, no, in the next one year. It's already in place. That's how you see when there was a, a collapse of a building, the first respondents were KDF. Again, I'm going to hold you to account for that. I'm, I'm writing yes. all this in my book. Yeah, yeah because uh, you know now you're growing old. You should write. <laughs> I also write, don't worry, not only you, <laughs> even me. Yeah, we have to write everything Sometimes now. Sometimes I, I tell my son, <laughs> yes. uh, please, uh, that thing your old son. Yeah, help me. Thing, please yeah. help me write. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing the same. <laughs> By the way, as we conclude, how's the book doing? Uh, my book is uh, doing very well, better than US. <laughs> <laughs> because now I think it's uh, close to one and a half year. Yes. My book is still the best-selling book. That's what my friend town. Ahmed at uh, Prestige Bookshop. Yes, go to Prestige, yeah. go to uh, Nuria, go mm, to Nuria. Textbook Centre, go to all the bookstores in... Uh, and there are about 6,000 copies uh, in the US, which I need to go and uh, uh, launch it in about uh, in three states, in Ohio, mm. uh, Minnesota, yes. uh, San Diego, and... Uh, uh, one other state. Good Lord. So I've, I've sold. I mean, now uh, I'm not broke. <laughs> Kalonzo Musioka has sued me. Yeah, why? why? Yeah, he's saying uh, yeah. Uh, what I said, uh, I don't want to discuss because the matter is in court. Okay. He has sued me. He said that when I said, uh, you know, that paragraph where when he met President Uhuru, mm -hmm. former president, and uh, our current president, and he told them, you know, you guys are young. Uh, you'll be jailed for only 10 years mm -hmm. at the ICC. <laughs> Please go and uh, serve your 10 years. Then when you come back, I'll give you the leadership. You know, so, uh, you know, I can't believe it because uh, the, the witnesses are, are, are around. Uhuru Kenyatta is around. President Ruto is around. Mm. Secondly, the president did my forward. When, you, when somebody does a forward, yes. what does he show? He's, written, he's read He's read it and he has agreed with he's it. He's approved, yes. So um, I'm struggling. With, um, I've, I've, I've told my lawyers, uh, uh, you know, I wanted to use a grand mula. Yeah. But because Why of the did Supreme you? Court. Why did you? <laughs> no, because of the Supreme Court. <laughs> that has been my lawyer. Him and James Oranga have been my lawyers for many years. But now I'm using some other very good, uh, competent lawyers, Abdi Wahid and his team. Mm. And uh, 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 I have made a very good uh, submission in court on why I think uh, the former vice president, with a lot of respect to him, he flip flops. And uh, not only in that particular paragraph, but there are many other issues. So that is the only person who has gone to court. Of the many people yeah. I have indicted that, Kalonzo has sold even 500 copies. <laughs> do, you, do you even remember the title of his book? No. Yeah. But anybody in the streets ask about, at least they, they might not remember the rest, but they'll remember for the record. For the record. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to talk to them. If you see him, please tell him. Um, like in the U.S., yeah. there's freedom of thought and conscience. The former majority leader wrote a book. I mean, he just he, he, he wants an order to stop the sale of my book until and unless I expand that paragraph. Mm. But uh, I leave that to the court and I leave that to my lawyers. I don't want to discuss it. <laughs> but I have sold close to 9,000 copies. Wow, in a year and a half. Yeah, yeah. so That's not at bad. least I have some money. For, yeah. We will always, always. And because we want to make sure that uh, we keep our country secure, mm -hmm. safe, yeah. and, and by extension, our region. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Kenya is an anchor state. Kenya is a country uh, uh, of freedom, free media, the rule of law, an independent judiciary, a legislative, uh, uh, vibrant leg legislature, and a government that respects the constitution. All that we need for our economy to improve, which has now just improved, the prices of fuel have come down, price of food have come down, inflation is now one digit, the dollar has come down. President Ruto makes very difficult decisions for the interests of the country, but not popular decisions. And he has to fix the country before 2027. Right. After what happens after 2027, it's a different story. But for now, for now, we're on, we're on course. For now, the 50 million Kenyans 
look up to him every morning. Him and his cabinet. Happy Madaraka Day, my friend. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed uh, the Nairobi University uh, dinner last night. It was very good. Yeah, it was very good. Yeah, you told me. Yes. yes. So I wish you well. This is, uh, you covered us very well when we were in the U.S. Absolutely. Are you a Yes. Yes. Yeah. Was, Ayub was very good. And he asked a question at... Uh, in the White House. He's, I mean, there are very few journalists who get that opportunity. And you know... Every, Am I right? Everybody kept quiet when he asked that question. Yes, yes. And he said, the bit of what he said, my president. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and the president said, thank you. Yes, yes. And he answered the yes. question. <laughs> very good. Well done. Waziri Aidan Dwale in the House, Defense Cabinet Secretary, talking about the safety and security of the homeland. Thanks so much for being a part of it, folks. We still have a bit of more. We've been as sports coming up, but you can keep tweeting at Queen Anger Jeff at Citizen TV Kane, the hashtag JK Live. JK Live takes a break. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs>